let's just jump right into today's video. Actually, it's yesterday's. I'm reshooting the intro. The intro was way too long. And so let's just jump into yesterday's video. First, I got to clean the kitchen and then we're going to get started on the rest of the day. So I'm redoing the intro just because it was too long and there was so much on this video. So let's get started on these cookies that I've been trying to get made for a few days. Now, the, I'm going to go ahead and make the full amount of dough and actually freeze part of the dough because the recipe says it is freezable dough. But I'm going to take a little bit of the second disc. You divide the dough in half. I'm going to take the little part of the second disc and go ahead and just chill that dough and make it into cookies and just do like a couple of cookies to give it a try. So let me get my microphone. I think you might can hear me a little better and we'll get started on these cookies. Okay, I will be sure to leave the link to where I got this recipe. I had to make sure my microphone was on, but I'll leave the link to where I got this recipe and you can go to their website and uh, find it. Um, so in here, I have two and a fourth cups all-purpose flour. Y'all, I began to panic because I thought I had a whole nother bag of flour, but I don't. And I had just two and a fourth cups of flour. I mean, it was close. Okay, so to that, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of ground. Well, let me do the baking powder first. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of baking powder. I always double check to make sure it says powder and not soda. I mean, sometimes it says both, but I always double check to make sure. So a half a teaspoon of bacon powder and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Now this is kind of like a sugar cookie dough. So the, the cinnamon is just a hint of cinnamon. Um, so that's why there's not a whole lot of cinnamon going in there. So let me grab a whisk. I think I have one right here behind me. And I'm just going to go ahead and give that a pretty little whisk real fast. That cinnamon is not enough to make it spicy. It's just going to give just a special warmth hint to this sugar cookie. Okay, so the dry ingredients, we can set them aside. And um, let's move over here to the mixer. We've got the butter already in the bowl and I'll meet you over at the mixer. So if you guys use unsalted butter, you'll want to add a little bit of salt to your flour. I always use salted butter. That's just what I always buy. I never, ever, ever have unsalted butter. So when I'm making something sweet, if it has butter in it, I usually leave out the salt unless it calls for a huge amount of salt. And then I may cut that, in, that amount in half. But um, for this, I am omitting the salt out of the dry ingredients because it's in my butter. Okay, so in here, let me show you. I have a three-fourths cup of butter, and to that, I'm going to add three-fourths cup of brown sugar. Y'all, I'm also out of my brown sugar, so we are going to um, be making our own brown sugar in just a little bit, too. Okay, so here we go. And I'm going to let this mix. I'm going to turn it up and let it mix for about two minutes. I am stopping it halfway through just to take and, you know, there's some little bits and pieces at the bottom that's not getting incorporated. So I'm just kind of scraping everything down, mixing everything back up, and we're going to let it keep going for just a few more seconds. And also sometimes on the paddle, it doesn't quite like get it really good. So I try to scrape everything that I can. And here we go again. So to our butter sugar mixture, we're going to add one egg and it's room temperature. I forgot to lay out my egg. So what I have done 
literally as as i got out all my ingredients i walked around with it in my hand and i would just kind of rotate it a little bit by little bit and just kept it in my warm hand while i got out everything else and while i was getting things ready and it is completely room temperature now so we're going to add in our egg and our vanilla a couple of teaspoons of vanilla and we're going to let that mix uh, for probably another minute okay i want to give this another scrape down um, you can see my butter and sugar are kind of hanging around the sides so let me Get this in there and we're going to scrape down to be sure everything's getting incorporated because you don't want to mix it too much once you add the flour because then that's going to make your cookie tough that's going to like um wake up the gluten and um make a tough cookie so you want to be sure everything's mixed well before you add the flour okay so back on and we're going to finish out that minute got to be sure everything's in there and i'll meet you right back here okay so now we want to turn it on low and i'm just going to incorporate my dry ingredients and we're just going to mix it until everything's incorporated we don't want to mix it too high and I know there's some on top of my spatula so I'm gonna cut it off real quick just so I can take my finger and knock off that on the spatula don't ever stick your finger in here while it's going <laughs> ah yeah that would be bad I'm gonna turn it up one notch we're just going to get everything incorporated here till it becomes a dough once it starts becoming a dough i'm going to turn it down to low all right that looks good i'm going to cut that off and i know there's still some flour out there and that's totally fine because we're going to we're going to mix some more, um, but we're going to mix by hand from here. I want to get everything off this spatula. <clears throat> paddle attachment. I said spatula, but I meant the paddle attachment. Y'all know what I meant. If you're new here, You'll find that I say the wrong thing <laughs> quite a bit. Unintentional. Just happens. I, I may be adding milk and I say water. You just have to watch. Keep a good close eye on me and know what I'm adding. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to... I had a hard time getting that paddle off earlier, so I'm going to have to work on that. All right, so I'm just going to take my hand and... I may have to get a sturdier spatula but we're going to just take that and make sure everything's mixed now this i'm definitely going to have to get a sturdier spatula but we're going to add in three-fourths cup of our pecans that i toasted up and chopped so there's a half a cup and here is a fourth of a cup and I'm gonna grab <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a wooden spoon I love this little one it's short so I can kind of get my hand in there um, I feel like I have a little more leverage or something with it but um, you just get whatever is convenient for you guys all right so I want to take this and just mix those pecans in 
And then once I get them mixed in, we're going to divide this dough into half. We'll probably put it out on a piece of parchment, divide it in half, freeze three-fourths of it, and then we're going to chill a fourth of it, and that's what we're going to use to make our cookies today. Now, these have a brown butter icing, so I will be making a full batch of brown butter icing, but um, it's okay. It doesn't take that many ingredients. The most thing it takes is the butter, and I can... I can replenish butter fairly easy. Um, so, okay, I believe it's all mixed in. And I'm going to clean up my work area, get some parchment. I'm, like I said, I'm out of flour, and I need to flour my parchment as best I can. But um, we'll see. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. Okay, so sometimes you can normally use powdered sugar to roll things out with but this dough is so wet if you were to use powdered sugar it would just melt and become a sticky mess so we're gonna have to use flour and guess what I found I found my bag of I've already filled up my container uh, best I can so the idea with using flour is you want to lightly use the flour because you don't want to have a cookie and bite into a big old mouthful of flour so we're just going to lightly, 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 lightly flour our piece of parchment. And this is just to be able to handle it. And um, so, and we are freezing this, or the majority of it. And I just want to get this out so I can divide it. And then we'll go from there. I still have more to go here. Sorry if that sound is loud. That's the ha bad thing about a microphone. It picks up really loudly some of the noises you don't want it to pick up, like chewing and swallowing and pots and stuff banging. And with me doing Vlogmas, I don't have time to edit all that out. So it... um. Okay, so I just want to get this dough in some form of a shape and I'm just going to lightly flour the top. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to just cut this right down the middle and it is sticky. It is a sticky, sticky dough. So I'm going to leave this one out. And I'm just going to make cookies out of this portion right here. And I'm going to freeze this and this. And um, I'm going to wash my hands, get my plastic wrap, get it all wrapped up just like you would a pie crust. Stick it in the freezer. And I'll be back in just a minute. In the freezer I go with these two. We're going to come back and get this dough ready to chill. And we, we go ahead and roll it out actually. So let me get another piece of parchment paper out and we will get started on this dough and get it in the refrigerator so we can get it cut out and made into cookies and try this dough out. It smells delicious. Okay, I have a lightly floured piece of parchment here and I'm just going to kind of give it, you know, get it started. <laughs> Adding a little flour to the top. I have lightly floured a rolling pin. And you want to get it to about a fourth of an inch thick. And if you need more flour on your rolling pin, just kind of have a work area that you can do that. And you can always do this, which makes it super easy. The only thing is you can't really judge the thickness. This makes it super easy, but I do have a hump kind of in the center. Let's see if we're close to a fourth. I think we're pretty doggone close to a fourth of an inch. <clears throat> okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a cookie sheet. 
This is one I did my bread on and I haven't even got the crumbs off of it. And that's totally fine because I'm just going to set this piece of parchment on it. I'm going to dust this with some of that excess flour I just put a little bit on. We'll put it on top just to keep it from sticking. And I'm going to stick this in the refrigerator for a few hours. And in a couple hours, we'll come back, we'll cut them out, we'll use cookie cutters, cut them out, bake them, and then if we have time on today's video, we'll make the icing. If not, we'll continue this video to tomorrow. Um, oh goodness, tomorrow, <laughs> I can't ice it tomorrow. We'll have to finish this tonight, even if it's late tonight. I have, we're going to the Operation Christmas Child shoebox tomorrow. And we're going to sort and do all that. So um, I'll see you guys there. And um, yeah, so be back in a minute. So I've got the cookies out of the refrigerator. They're right here. We're going to wipe off any excess flour. And I'm just going to use... I just have a few um, cookie cutters and we're going to do the best we can look at there and I just want to make sure there's no excess flour too much and we're gonna lay them on our cookie sheet over here this is just the one I've had in the refrigerator so let's see I always try to make this a puzzle a puzzle piece to to get the most cookies and then we can always go back and remix the dough but it's pretty chilled I mean it's pretty cool now it's also good if you have your flour out to run your cookie cutter through the flour that helps them release These are beautiful. They smell heavenly. Um, let's do, I did a mitten. Let's do a bell. All right. There we go. All right, let's see what we can get out of I can get another bail. I can get a mitten. Uh, no, I can't quite get it. Let's see. Can I? I can't quite get a mitten, but I can get a bail. I can definitely get a round ornament. So let's go with the round ornament. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can soften this up real quick and roll it back out the warmth of my hand is definitely let me grab a piece of parchment I need to get on Amazon and order some more parchment. Um, let's see, I can't roll that way in the tray. Let's see where we are now. Looks pretty good. May have gotten it a little too thin in certain areas, but. Hey, that's okay. See, I've got two of those. Let's do another Christmas tree. And let's do another bell.
Now this dough is softer, so because it's warmed up in my hands, so it may not come up quite as easily. Did pretty good. I don't know how much, if any, these will spread. So I'm gonna try to just to get one more. But they worked really good when they were cool, so I really like that. Okay. Let's see if I can't at least get one more mitten out of this. There we go. And I believe we can. Let me make sure I got plenty of flour on my cookie cutter. And what we'll do, we'll still bake these pieces. We'll just bake them as little pieces. And that way nothing is going to waste. And we'll get to try them all. Okay, so in a 350 degree oven, they're gonna go for about 13 minutes. While we bake these, let's get our brown butter icing started. In our pot here, I have six tablespoons of butter that we are just going to begin to melt. And the way brown butter works is you, you melt your butter, then it begins to foam and it gets real foamy. Then the foam begins to start to disappear and you start to see little brown flecks, not black flecks, but brown flecks. And it turns almost an amber color and there's a period of this time where it starts to kind of spitter and spatter we'll just walk through each step right now we are just in the melting phase Okay, you can hear the spitter and spatter, and it's still melting. Now, my pot is getting pretty hot around the edges, so I turned it down a little bit. So we're just going to watch it, and it's soon going to start to foam. Okay, I don't know if you can see that foamy look on it or not, but there, there is one. <laughs> And you can hear it just kind of sound like rain for a little bit. I can actually start moving that foam around as you can see. So we are actually getting very close, starting to foam even more. You can see the foam starting. And you hear the sound has gotten quieter. And if you see, there's some brown bits. They're actually starting more around the edge. But do you see that the color has changed? Do you see it's turned amber colored? I don't know how well the camera is picking this up, but um, there is definitely an amber color. So I am going to cut that off when the foam dies down I'll let you see but there are little brown bits in there it is super beautiful um, you can see as I slosh it around the the color where it's brown and the brown moves you see those little specks I don't know if you can see them but there's little brown specks that is browned butter so we're going to let it cool and we'll set it off the burner. 
let it cool for a while and I will bring you back. I'm going to shut my cabinet. <laughs> Always a cabinet door open here. You know, we need to play like, where's Waldo? <laughs> like, where's the open cabinets? They're all over. It wouldn't be much of a game because we would always see an open cabinet. So um, while that's cooling, our cookies are baking. Um, we're, I've got everything out ready. I've got a cup and a half of powdered sugar. The recipe called for three tablespoons of milk and I think a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I was out of milk, believe it or not. And so I did two tablespoons of heavy cream and one tablespoon of water, and I just mixed in the vanilla right in here with it. So we are good to go. When that cools, the cookies come out and they get cooled, we'll be ready. The cookies are out of the oven and they are cooling. And so we've got here, I've just got my, I think it's my four cup measuring. And here I've got a cup and a half of powdered sugar. Oop, and I splattered it everywhere. All right, we're going to go in with our supposed to be three tablespoons of milk and a little bit of vanilla. Like I said, I use two tablespoons of heavy cream and one tablespoon of water. And then to that, we're going to add in our browned butter. smells delicious brown butter i don't know if you've ever done anything with brown butter but oh my goodness <clears throat> i make a brown butter chicken pie it's so good now like i said i'm trying to be carb free today but I am oh my that is super good all those little brown flecks in there are from the brown sugar wowza okay so I'm just going to take one of these cookies they're not completely cool but I, that's okay I'm just going to take it Dip it in there and then set it back over here on my tray. Here's the mitten. I may have gotten these cookies a little too, too done. Now you can dip the whole cookie or if you want to just um, dip the top like I am. And that's what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the top. Here we go. And with it still being slightly warm, <laughs> this one I got too done. With it still being slightly um, warm, it kind of, the drippage kind of melts and it looks uniformed. And it drips down the side and it gets to the side of the cookie. Now we're not quite finished yet. Okay. I may keep this icing and just maybe heat it up or something for the cookie exchange if these cookies make the cut. We'll see. I've got one more kind of like a cookie that I'm going to make, um, but I'm not going to um, do a trial on it. I'm just going to wing it and do it. I've never done it before, but um, now you can actually let this icing get nice and firm and ice the ice the cookies just like you would a, you know, a cake or, or icing. You could spread it. However, now, some of these I'm going to leave just like this. Let me rinse my fingers off. <clears throat> I 
I just ran a sink full of soapy, sudsy water. Okay, so some of these I'm going to leave plain, and then some of them I'm going to take some of our toasted pecans and just dust the top of them. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do a fourth one. Let's do one of the bales. Okay. So four of them we've sprinkled with pecans on top. And then the other four will leave. And then this is just one of the pieces. I've already tried it. It's just a cookie and it's really good. It's not too sweet. It's, um, the pecans are delicious in it. It's, it's delicious just like a cookie. Um, so I'm anxious to see what it's going to taste like with the icing. So, okay. Well, let's, let's try it now while we've got this. I'm just going to take this little piece and dip it in the icing. And that way we'll know. Hmm. Oh my goodness. I know you can hear the crunching. I'm sorry. That's amazing. That's amazing. It really is good. Okay, so when Bryant gets home tonight and we get home from the hanging of the green ceremony, I'll get him to try one for you guys. All right. I'm going to just do busy work until time for church. So I'll see you in a little bit. I think my boys are happy with bubbles. Are you happy with bubbles? Jude, are you happy with bubbles? Do you like that stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're getting, don't get too wound up on it because we're getting ready to head to church. Okay. Right when I turn the camera off, Levi says, Church, I love church. So I thought I'd show you the kimono. I don't know. Let me, uh, Let me see if I can, everything's a mess, so I don't want you to see a mess, but they came home, I made mac and cheese like crazy. Let's go see if I could let you see the kimono. There it is, just a burgundy shirt. There's a little burgundy stripe that goes in it. Um, some over here. So, um, I got a necklace in the car I got to put on, but, um, I'm not going Christmassy. Hey, Hang on. I'm not going Christmassy, but, um, anyway, it is what it is. And I just got on a pair of dark jeans. So, um, <clears throat> so I will see you there. I'm going to try to video some while we're there. And, um, then we got praise team practice afterwards. So, I'm not sure how much you'll see of us once we get home. So, um, hey, off the bar. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit. words of truth that he came unto his own and his own received him not John 1 11. as far as we can determine Mary and Joseph were all alone and completely dependent on God to provide for all of their needs at the end of the day they could say God provided all that we needed 
Is there room in my heart for Jesus? There are hearts that never welcome Jesus, not because of hatred towards him, but simply because their hearts are already overcrowded with thoughts of riches, honor, prestige, pleasure, business, affairs, just no room for him. No time to reflect on his will, no desire to go out of their way to do what will please him. They want a religion that is convenient and full of superstition, but not too serious, and please, no commitments. Make it convenient and easy in my fast-paced world, but please, no more obligations in my And now for the taste test that we've all been waiting for, for those cookies. So we're going to see what Bryant thinks of those. What are they called? Pecan sugar cookies with brown butter icing. Here we go. You want to let me in the camera? Oh. Camera hold. Is your mic on? Yeah. Test, test one, test one. Mic's on. I'm very tasty. That's really good. Go. The flavor's not overpowering, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's not too sweet. Mm -hmm. That's a good cookie. It reminds me of a pecan sandy a little bit. It does. I get that. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Yeah, really good. Okay. Oh, just take one bite, ain't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know they can hear me crunching. They couldn't hear me. Okay, everybody. We're off to. There's this chicken. We are off to bed. We'll see you tomorrow. You're going to go with us to Charlotte. To, <clears throat> and so we'll see you at some point um, tomorrow uh, while we go pack the Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. We're not packing the shoe boxes. We're sorting them at the warehouse. You have to kind of go through them. But we'll explain all that tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Good night, guys. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.